Stay inside. Do not leave Kenji looking at you. <laughs> uh, sorry for the kids' menus. It's all Dave had. Do they understand how old we are? I mean, well, when was the last time you even saw a crayon? That is one big pile of shit. You know, I was not expecting Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous to somehow be better than any of the sequels to Jurassic Park. Seriously, that was just something I didn't think would be a thing, but here we are. It really was surprising to me, especially with the fact that I actually care about what happens with the characters and the fact that it lets itself get real when it needs to. It's just a bit hard to believe, but I ain't mad at it. After so many weak sequels, I'll take what I can get. Seriously, we weren't eating good before this with this franchise, but now we finally got something. Finally, some good fucking food. This series is created by Zack Stentz, or more or less developed for television by him, who was a writer for X-Men First Class, Thor, and the Flash series, so it has a bit of flavoring of good humor while understanding tension as well when it's needed. Just a good juggling act on that front, I honestly like that. The premise is about a group of kids that visit the island of Isla Nublar to attend a camp but end up having to fight for their lives when the dinosaurs of Jurassic World escape and wreak havoc. Now honestly, in the back of your head you just gotta be thinking how much of a bad idea it is to have a camp in Jurassic World filled with kids. Like no one learned from any of the previous times of how dangerous dinosaurs are and then you want kids to be around them? Come on now. But that doesn't mean that the peril doesn't feel genuine. You do get a sense of real danger with them because of how you actually care about them. Sort of like how in the first film you were scared the kids were gonna get eaten. Granted, this is still a family friendly series so it's not like they pull the trigger on that front. Though they pull it on a few others. I'm not fully sure where it's supposed to take place in the canon per se. It might be a prequel to the first Jurassic World or it might just be an alternate universe. Either way, it's still better than the sequels. The main characters definitely hold this series together with a good sense of personality and agency to them. Darius is the big driving force we follow along. He's a kid who loves dinosaurs, which is part of the norm for the Jurassic Park franchise. He's super enthusiastic about dinosaurs to a point it can put him in danger. His curiosity is pretty much what can lead to his and others downfall. There's the other cast of kids like Kenji, who's the rich kid that literally barely learns anything and has delusions of grandeur. He practically does whatever he wants with no real grasp of consequence. You almost hope he gets eaten, but thankfully he's shown to not think of just himself when he's in danger and can have a sense of compassion to him. You're acting like this doesn't affect you too. We're here because of her. Or maybe something else would have happened and we would still be stuck here. Look, I, I know you're mad at Sammy, but getting mad doesn't get us out of here. It just makes more people mad, you know? Put yourself in her shoes. At this point, is there anything you could say that would make Sammy feel worse than she already does? Take it from someone who has ample experience in rubbing people the wrong way. There's Brooklyn who's a social media fanatic. She's obsessed with making sure her fan base is entertained most of the time, which makes her come off as uncaring, but you start to see how it affects her and how she connects with others. There's also Yasmin who's pretty much the recluse of the group. She just tries to keep to herself, but she finds a bit of kinship in Sam who's pretty much the loudmouth of the group, but she clearly is hiding something from everybody with how she sneaks things around everyone. Then you got Ben who pretty much is the safe kid basically hates being there so you know common sense you would think he's just some whiny kid but like i said it makes the most sense through all this because there ain't no reason to have kids on this island but i digress the group is watched over by camp counselors named dave and roxy they're the typical dork competent duo dave is more simpleton but has his heart in the right place and wants to do the right thing and make sure those kids make it out and roxy is pretty much the same but more competent at her job Everyone here is honestly pretty likable, even when at first they seem fairly detestable as you watch. You feel for each individual character cause they make it clear not everything is perfect for them. It's just a nice sense of empathy which I can dig it. Right on. There's a strong sense of peril with characters since you know nobody wants to use logic and stop trying to make a dinosaur theme park a thing but 
that's neither here nor there. You get intense moments that can get your heart racing with how they have the characters put in danger. For a family friendly series, it knows not to hold back when it comes to this franchise. They make it clear characters are dead with a clever sense of framing and editing. It does help that Steven Spielberg himself gave the green light for them to get as gruesome as they could while still retaining that family friendly identity to it. Ugh, I'm so good. Mildly impressive. I think I just shit myself. This series even brings back a lot of fan favorites. You do see the T-Rex, or they're in a video game though. They even bring back the Indominus Rex. I was like, wow, that's surprising. And it kind of leaves me a little hoping to see they do some justice to that thing because it was kind of wasted when it was first introduced. They bring back a lot of good dinosaurs and it's honestly just a lot of fun. It's just a nice callback to this franchise and it leaves you hoping there's more. You almost feel like it's the first movie all over again, but there can also be genuine heartfelt moments with good sincerity to them. I only felt real sympathy for characters in the first movie. Amazing this series is where it gets the characters right after so many sequels that just couldn't. Some moments can feel heartbreaking like this one part between Darius and his father who died of some incurable disease. You really feel the moment and can easily sympathize with Darius on this front. We're doing this together. No more dad speeches, okay? Fair enough. I should know better than to argue with you. You'll see, Dad. We're gonna make it to Jurassic World, and it's gonna be perfect. It has to be. This is held together with the animation. It's 3D CGI that allows good expression on the characters and works well with the art direction that brings the lush foliage of the backgrounds to life and even brings the dinosaur's weight to them. Do you really feel like, Jesus, that, that's a deadly dinosaur? You feel that weight. It's a fairly enjoyable animation tactic that tends to work here since it's fully animated, unlike the movies, which just blends the CGI with live action so you get better bang for your buck here. The season ends with the characters trying to reach the end of the island to get to these evacuation ferries, but they fail and end up being stranded on the island with no means of escape. This is a great means to cap off the season and leaves you wanting more after experiencing so much with these characters. You're left hoping they manage to survive on that island and it just gets you so excited for the next season. That honestly never happens when it comes to the Jurassic Park movies. Usually you don't care to see the next one, but this broke the mold. I have to say. Bravo to the crew. Well done, good people. Well done. I thought you were goners. Oh, that was scary. Doesn't get better than that. This is a great Jurassic Park series. The characters are very empathetic and you can easily see why they are the way they are. You have genuine concern for their safety and hope they make it out okay. The sense of peril adds to the thrills and leaves you on the edge of your seat. It lets off actual kills which give a real sense of danger to the situation the characters are in. The animation is comfy and lets the characters have good expression when things get hectic and when it needs to have those somber moments that can make you sympathize with the characters. It gives the revitalization to the franchise that was very much needed and very much appreciated. But that's just a thought. <laughs>